Hello Divination and welcome. We have a brand new mini series for you and this time it's about how to use Divi's new animation effects. We'll be exploring creative ways on how to create awesome looking page sections. These animation features are fun and easy to use as you shall see in this mini series. Now when you use the visual builder you can actually see all these animations come to life right before your eyes. So join me as we explore the power of Divi animation features. Okay, so now we are finally on our last part of our six part mini series. So what we're going to need here is some images and also some CSS code. So if you'd like to follow along step by step, I will include the link to the post in the show notes below. Okay, so let's start off by adding a brand new section. So we're going to come over here to the bottom, click this plus button to add our section. Now our section is only going to be a regular section. So I'm going to select regular and we're going to have a three column row. So I'm going to select my three columns. So before we go into adding our modules, what we need to do is we need to come over here to our row settings and make some adjustments. So straight away, I'm going to come over here to design click on sizing and we're going to set a custom width. Now our custom width here needs to be 1366 pixels. So I'm going to enter that in here like that. And next we're going to come over here to use gutter width and set that to yes. And we're going to set this to one. So by setting this to one, it means that all our columns will be close really next to each other. Now let's go to spacing and on under column one padding, let's add 6% to the right. And then for column three padding, we're gonna add 8% to the left. Right, so what we're gonna do here is we're going to add a background to our section. So for now, I'm gonna save this. And then we're gonna come over here to the gear icon on the sections, so, and then click to access our settings. Right, so I'm gonna come over here to background and then we need to add a background image. So we need to come over here to the third tab. So I'm gonna select my third tab, click this plus button to add our image. Now my image is already in my media library. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select it here. Now, if you don't have your image in your media library, you need to navigate to it on your computer. Right, so I have it here. I'm gonna click on upload an image. So you can see here in the background that it's, that it's been uploaded. And then we're gonna activate the parallax effect and we need it set to true parallax. Now it's time to add our image module. So I'm gonna save this, and then I'm gonna come over here to my row. So in the first column, I'm gonna click this plus button here to add our first module, and this is gonna be an image module. So I'm gonna select my image module, click on upload to upload my image. Okay, so I'm gonna add my first image. So I'm gonna select it here, click upload an image, and we can see here that it's been added. Next, we're gonna come over here to our design tab, click on sizing and under force full width, let's set that to yes. And then we need to come over here to our animation, select slide and we need this to slide up. And our animation intensity, let's set that to about 20%. Next, we're going to add some CSS code to give the card a rounded edge, a box shadow, and a blur filter. So, we need to come over here to the Advanced tab, click on Custom CSS, and in the main element, what we need to do is to paste this CSS code. So now we can see that we have the rounded corners and we have the blur effect. So if you'd like to use the CSS, I'll also include a link to the post which has all these settings. Right, so let's go ahead and save and we're gonna add some text modules here in the middle column. So I'm gonna click this plus button here to add our first text module. I'm gonna select my module and I'm going to paste my text in here. So we can see here that this is our title. Okay, so by adding these tags here, it has made this text a heading. So let's stylize this text. So I'm gonna come over here to design, click header text. We're gonna select Playfair for this. Right, so we're gonna set this to bold and set our font size to 60, like that. We're gonna come over here to line height and set this to 1.3, just to give it a bit of spacing between the lines. Next, we're gonna come over here to spacing and give this a custom margin to the bottom of 20 pixels. 
Okay, so the reason why we're adding 20 pixel to the margin bottom is because we're going to be adding another text module. So we don't want these two blocks of text to be very close to each other. Next, we're going to come over here to animation. We're going to choose fold, set this to fold up. And that's all we need to do here. So let's go ahead now and save. So under the, uh, the, the heading, we're going to add another text module. So I'm going to click this plus button here, select my search for my text module. So in the content, I'm going to paste this lorem text. Now, in your case, you need to use proper text. Uh, this, I'll be using this text just for demo purposes only. Right, so next I'm going to come over here to my design tab, set my font to Leto. Right, we can see here the size is a bit too small, so let's bump it up to about 18 pixels. Right, so that's looking better. And then for our text color here, this is going to be a transparent color, so I'm going to come over here into the brackets and paste my RGBA value. All right, so that's looking good. Now we need to come over here to line height, set this to 1.9, just to give it a bit of breathing space between the lines. Next, we're gonna come over here to our animation. We're gonna select fold, and we're gonna set the direction to down. And for the uh, delay, we're going to set this to 150 milliseconds, like that. And then let's save. Now it's time to add our image. So I'm gonna come over here, click this plus button, select my image module, and then I'm going to search for my image, and it is right here. Upload an image. And then I'm going to come over here to design, click on sizing, and make sure that force a full width is selected. Go to the animation. We're going to choose slide, and we're going to set the direction to up, and animation intensity, we're going to set this to 10%. And then finally, we're going to come over here to the Advanced tab, click on Custom CSS. Now we're going to add our CSS code, which will allow us to add some rounded corners, drop shadow, like that. So that's looking good. Let's go ahead and save. Now, we can see that this image here is very close to our text right here above. So I'm going to come over here, go into my text, text module settings, click on Design, Spacing, and we're going to add a 40 pixel to the bottom so I'm going to add my 40. So now we can see that um, our spacing is much better. So I'm going to go ahead now and save. Now it's time to add our third and final image. So I'm going to come over here, click the plus button to add our image module. I'm going to search for it. Select image. And then I'm going to search for my image in my media library. And then I'm going to select my card. Click upload an image. And then I'm going to come here to the Design tab, click on Sizing, and then make sure that this is set to Force Full Width. We're going to, next, we're going to go to Spacing and set a custom margin top of 20%. Now it's time to go to the Animation and set our animations. Right, so we're going to select Slide, and we're going to slide up, and the Animation Intensity, we're going to set this to 30%. Now it's time to add our CSS style, so we're going to come here to the Advanced tab, click on Custom CSS, and in the main element, we're going to paste our CSS code. So you can see here that this has made our image go blur, and this now in the middle is really standing out. So okay, let's go ahead now and save. So now let's save our page and do a quick preview of our design. So I'm going to save the page, and then next I'm going to exit the Visual Builder, then I'm going to scroll all the way down until we get to our section. So I'm just going to refresh this so we can see how our animation is working. Beautiful. So you can see here that we've just applied our animation. Now, let's go ahead and build our next section. So I'm going to click on Enable Visual Builder. Scroll all the way down. So let's add our, our section. So I'm going to click this plus button here, add a regular section. And this time, all we're going to need is a single row. Right, so I'm just going to close this for now. Now, what we need to add in these rows are two text modules and a divider. So I'm going to click this plus button here, add my first text module, select it. Right, so I'm going to add my text in here, click on design, go into our text, and we are going to set this to bold, uppercase, and our text font size, we're going to set this to 15, 
and then we're gonna come over here to our text color and add our color so here we're gonna have a a transparency to our color so I'm gonna paste my RGBA values in the brackets like that make sure this is centered and then we're gonna add some letter spacing so we're gonna set this to about five like that and then finally for our line height we're gonna set this to 1.9 now let's go to our spacing and add a custom margin of 20 to the bottom and then let's go into our animations so we would like this to slide up so let's select slide and then for our animation direction we're gonna slide up so for our duration we're gonna set this to 500 and our delay to 1000 so we're gonna save for now now it's time to add our new module so I'm gonna click this plus button here to add our second text module now this is gonna have this is gonna have our title so I'm gonna select my text module here and paste my title now make sure that you're not in the visual um, view you need to be in the text view for this HTML to apply okay so now let's go to our design now because our text is te is um, HTML we can come over here to our header text because it's set as header we're gonna center this right so let's set our size to 48 and our font needs to be railway light so I'm gonna scroll all the way down until I find railway light like that let's set our header text color I'm gonna paste my color in here so next we're gonna come over here to our line height set this to 1.3 click on spacing and we're going to set a custom margin bottom of 20 pixels now it's time to add uh, to go to the animation tab we're gonna select slide and we're gonna set this to slide to the right with an animation intensity of 12% Okay, so let's go ahead and save. Now it's time to add our green line just below our heading. So this can be achieved by adding a divider. So I'm gonna search for my divider module, select it, click on show, uh, show divider. And then I'm gonna come over here to design, select color, and we're gonna paste our green color. So I'm gonna paste my value in here. So we can see here that this is way too long. So we need to adjust that. So we're going to come over here to sizing and we're going to set this to three for the weight and three for the height like that. And then for the width, we're going to set this to 60 pixels. So we can see now that it's much, much smaller. And then we're going to center this for our animation. Let's make sure that this slides down. So we're going to click on slide down for our animation duration. We're going to set this to 500. For our delay, we're gonna set this to 1000. And for our intensity, we're gonna set this to 200%. Now it's time to add our personal module. So let's go ahead now and save. So what we need to do here is to add a brand new row. So I'm gonna come over here. So you can see here that um, I'm distracted I can't really click my new row but it's not a problem because all we have to do is to come over here to our expand settings click on wireframe view and then I can easily now add it here so I'm gonna click this plus button to add my row we need four columns like that and um, so for the first columns in fact these will be person modules so I'm gonna search for person select it and for the name for our first one here it's gonna be Nick we're gonna come over here to our image, click on upload, and we're gonna to navigate to our media library and select Nick, click upload an image. So here we can see that um, it's quite difficult for us to see what we're adding here. So in order for us to go back to our visual editor, all we need to do is to click this desktop icon. So I'm gonna click it here, and that takes us back to our desktop view. And by the way, the size of this image is 150 by 150 pixels. Right, so I'm gonna come over here to design. And for our header text, we're going to set this to railway light. So I'm gonna scroll, scroll all the way down here and select railway light. We're gonna make this all bold and all caps. So our header font size, let's set this to 13. And for our text color, we're gonna come over here and this text is gonna have transparency. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna add my value, my RGBA value within the brackets like that. 
And for our letter spacing, we're gonna set this to three pixels. Next, we're gonna add some CSS code in the member box. So we're gonna come over here to advanced, click on custom CSS, and then we're gonna come over here to the member image and add our CSS code. So as soon as I add my CSS code here, you can see that this has uh, added a circle to our image. And then finally, to center this text, we need to come over here to our member description and paste this CSS code. So all is in place. Let's go ahead now and save. So instead of adding all these customizations to each and every image that we're going to add, we can always save time by cloning these modules. So I'm going to come over here, press Control C on a PC or Command C on a, on a Mac, and then Command V on a Mac or Control V on a PC to paste. So I'm just going to do this a few times like that. And then all I have to do is to go in and change my image. So the next one here is going to be me. So that's going to be Mac. And then I'm going to come over here to my image, click upload, select my image, and then upload the image. So you can see how fast that is. In fact, instead of even going into my um, module settings, I can just come over here to the name and just highlight it like that and just update it that way. And then all I have to do is to go in and just change the image. Click on image, upload. Like that, and then finally we have Mitch. So let me just save this for now. Go in and update our image. So you see how fast that was? So this is how you can also utilize our shortcuts to speed up your design workflow. So now that I have all this in place, I'm just gonna go ahead now and save. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is we are going to animate this complete row. So let's go into our row settings. And before we do the animations, there's a few things we need to um, adjust. So let's come over here to our design, click on sizing, and uh, we need to adjust our gutter width. So let's set, um, let's activate this first of all, and set our gutter width to two. So that just brings um, all our person modules slightly closer together. Next, we're gonna come over here and add a padding top of about 60 pixels. Now, we can see that as soon as we've entered that, this has created some space between this divider and our, image, our images here on the bottom. So this just makes look, the design look much, much better. Okay, so now it's time to go into the animation. So I'm gonna click on animation. This time we're gonna use something different. So let's go for bounce. And our animation duration, we're gonna set this to about 700. For our animation delay, we're gonna set this to 1000 milliseconds. Okay, so that's all we need to do. Let's go ahead now and save and let's preview our animation. So I'm gonna save the complete page by hitting Command S or Control S on a PC. I'm gonna scroll all the way here to the top and select Exit Visual Builder. So I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom like that and we can see here our animation coming to life so let's do that one more time let's refresh the page there we go so there you have it thank you all for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms by doing so you'll be notified every time we release new videos similar to what you've seen today until next time thanks for watching and see you soon